February is Macular Degeneration Awareness Month, so I wanted to do a little video just about this disease that is extremely prevalent um, in everyone over 60. There are two main types, and a lot of times those types get confused for each other, so we're going to talk a little bit about them and the different treatments that are available. So what is macular degeneration? Macular degeneration is a problem where abnormal proteins start to develop underneath the retina, and these proteins um, cause an interruption of the usual function of the overlying retina, and the retina starts to degenerate, hence macular degeneration. There are two forms of this disease, the dry form, which is present in 90% of patients, and the wet form, which is present in 10% of patients. Um, Thank goodness the dry form, which is the more common form, is the form that is much more likely for you to retain your vision throughout your entire life. It's much more slowly progressive. Um, it doesn't require as frequent follow-up as the wet form. Um, we recommend folks wear sunglasses always because UV damage is definitely something that is associated with the progression of macular degeneration, as is smoking. So to our patients who are still smoking, we really encourage them to try to kick that habit. I know it's very difficult, but um, smokers do much worse um, with the progression of their macular degeneration, so always encouraging them to quit. The second type of macular degeneration is called the wet form, and we call it the wet form because it is a problem where the blood vessels underneath the retina start to break through into the retinal uh, layers themselves and bleed and leak fluid underneath the retina, and that's the wet portion of this disease. This part of macular degeneration can be very rapid. People can have sudden vision loss with this sudden distortion where all of a sudden a straight line like a telephone pole becomes very distorted and, and they can have that happen um, overnight in some cases. Um, I always encourage my patients if they're having any sudden change to call us immediately to come in very quickly because we need to treat the wet form of macular degeneration as quickly as possible. Um, as recently as 10 or 15 years ago, we really didn't have a lot of good treatments for this disease. We could laser to try to you know, coagulate these abnormal blood vessels, but that just left a scar um, and it was really not a, a very effective treatment. These days, um, this is treated with an injection of a medication into the actual back of the eye itself, into the vitreous cavity, which causes these abnormal blood vessels to shrink and regress, and then our body can just pump out that fluid naturally. Um, these injections have been really revolutionary in how we treat macular degeneration. And it's, it's obnoxious because you, know, you have to get a shot in your eye, which is obviously not anybody's favorite thing to do, but the way that they can sustain the vision, preserve the vision, and then sometimes improve the vision um, is just absolutely unbelievable. So um, I always encourage patients to have a very low threshold for calling me if, if anything is changing with the vision. So something I always wanna make sure my patients have um, when they have macular degeneration is a really simple tool called an Amsler grid. Um, this is something that I encourage folks to put on their refrigerator, in their closet, or someplace where they can check it about once a week to make sure that all of those lines are straight. Um, if the lines ever start to get distorted or wavy or they're missing parts of the grid, that's concerning that the macular degeneration has transformed from the dry form to the wet form and that they need to come in immediately for treatment. Um, so that's a really simple thing folks can do at home to monitor the progression of their disease. As far as uh, treatment with oral medication, we don't have any prescription medications available at this time for macular degeneration, although there's certainly a lot of research in this field since so many people are affected by this disease. I always encourage my patients to take the over-the-counter vitamins. Um, there's there are a ton of different brands, Preservision, Occuvite, Eye Caps. All of these are compilations of uh, high-dose antioxidant vitamins that were found in a study called the Age-Related Eye Disease Study to be extremely effective in sort of declining the progression of macular degeneration. It's not going to reverse the changes, it's not going to stop the disease, but if we can decrease the rapid progression of the disease, that's always a good thing. Um, those can be found over the counter and can usually be taken um, with all of your other medications without any issues. So encourage folks to take those. 
So that's a basic overview of macular degeneration. I hope it was helpful and encourage everybody to see their ophthalmologist if you have not and you're over 60 um, because a lot of times we can find changes in the retina in the early stages of macular degeneration and get you started on treatment so that we um, decrease the likelihood of you losing vision from it in years to come. Um, as always, thanks so much for watching this video and please feel free to subscribe to my channel um, to watch more content as it becomes available.